I'm Haile Debas. Uh, uh, I'm the director of uh, UCSF Global Health Sciences and also director of the University of California wide Global Health Institute. I am for a, from a developing country. I come originally from Eritrea, which at the time I came was part of Ethiopia. And uh, when I completed my surgical training, my purpose was to go to, back to my country. But a war started between Eritrea and Ethiopia, and it became impossible for me to return. When I uh, uh, stepped down as Dean of Medicine at uh, UCSF, uh, not being able to return home, uh, I thought the best contribution I can make was through global health. And uh, therefore we started the UCSF Global Health Institute and through that we now have very active big programs in East Africa. So it's a way for me to give back where I couldn't do it going back home. We just believe that if we could harness the, the expertise that exists in the faculty and students in all 10 campuses, uh, this would be, we will realize the, uh, the ultimate capacity of the university. And uh, it was necessary not only to bring the health sciences disciplines together, but bring also the non-health science disciplines, engineering, agriculture, veterinary medicine, business, economy, uh, and, and social behavioral sciences. So now we have uh, a University of California-wide global health system that has centers in which all these disciplines work together to address major problems in global health. We think it's a paradigm shift in the way a university works. You should see now the UCSF uh, Mohas, uh, the uh, Mohembeli University of Health and Allied Sciences in Tanzania working together. They're, they're uh, completely revising the curriculum for medicine. They brought uh, nursing, medicine, public health, uh, dentistry, uh, pharma pharmacy together, working together. They're developing new models for interaction, for education. epidemic proportions of non-communicable diseases brings with it the need for increased surgical intervention. The huge amount of uh, trauma, motor vehicle accidents, the results of regional conflicts and wars uh, has required uh, the development of surgical, uh, surgical care everywhere. Most importantly, surgical care is required in the rural districts of developing countries because that's where the mothers die of obstructed labor because they, they're unable to reach major hospitals and life-saving cesarean sections could be performed even by non-surgeons skilled, trained non-surgeons can perform that and this can reduce maternal mortality and uh, childhood uh, mortality. Over the past year, a significant development has been the creation of the Consortium of Universities for Global Health, of which Dr. Michael Merson was a founding leader. And I think we will be seeing the effect 
uh, of this consortium as the time goes by, not only in advocacy for funding for academic global health, but also in the things they do in training uh, of the health workforce, in providing coordinated health care in the developing countries and in research. So I think this is the beginning of a new era where universities are, are going to play a leading role, in fact a transformational role I would say in global health. We have to make the case for the importance of surgery and what we haven't got is the, uh, is the data uh, to prove that. And I think as we go along, these universities working together can develop the data that's rigorous enough and convincing enough to the donor community to say, yes, we will support uh, global surgery. And, uh, and I think we need to coordinate our efforts with our partners in the developing countries. So I see the institution to institution relationship between U.S. academic institutions and institutions in developing countries as a very important medium of uh, making this, uh, this goal a reality.